Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. Today we are talking about the layer 3, the network layer. Now oh, it's finally a network layer, right? So, <sighs> network layer. What is this? Network layer, the first time we are talking about real multi-hop. Yeah? So that we know, the network layer already knows, there is somebody else, not just the direct communication partner, but there is somebody beyond this communication partner. So we do have several stations somewhere. Zack, zack, zack. I don't know. Like this. And they might be connected somehow. Yeah? Somehow interconnected to each other. Like that. Just an example. And there is no need to establish one connect connection to another connection. Yeah? So there might be somewhere in the middle something which is dividing these in two networks. Yeah? So that we have here a network 1 and here network 2. Here, everybody can communicate to each other, point to point. Yeah? So, layer 2 is sufficient also here. But layer 2 is not, we cannot reach it. Because those elements in network 2, they are out of my sight. Yeah? They, I don't know them. Yeah? However, layer 3 knows that there is somebody. Yeah? And there might be even another thing. And there might be even things here, zack, zack. Where is a network 3? Here we have network 3. And here we have the borders of those networks. And network, the network layer knows there is somebody. Somewhere there is somebody. Yeah. So, what an important thing in uh, layer, dry, dry, <laughs> layer 3 is providing are uh, addresses. Yeah. Network independent addresses. Yeah. So, layer 3 is providing network. We have multi-hop. communication and we are providing addresses in different networks okay what are the tasks now for layer 3 yeah well one major task is uh, that I select a route. Huh? So if if this wants to address here somewhere, yeah, then it sends it sends its information from hop to hop to hop to hop, and all those nodes in between need to know where where it has to send. There's a package, huh? data package. And it has to send this somehow. And so this is the information. Please send it to this address. It's like a postal service, right? I don't know if somebody, if I now sending something away to, I don't know, somebody in Oklahoma, uh, whatever Main Street, Elm Street, 33, is in this and that town. If I put this to the to my postal office here, this person doesn't know where this address is exactly. Just uh, America, okay? <laughs> Relate to America, and they will know. And then this, uh, wherever this is arriving in America, somewhere in New York or or Washington or I don't know, yeah, so, well, Oklahoma, okay, send it to Oklahoma. They will know where. And chuck, 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 chuck. And somewhere we will reach. 
somebody who exactly knows how I have to bring this there. Boof. Yeah? And this is exactly packet oriented thing. This is exactly working exactly that way. Yeah? So we need to root things simply. Yeah? So one, one thing is rooting. Very important thing. Yeah? Rooting. Or routing. I don't know what you prefer. It's possible that I sometimes pronounce it routing and sometimes pronounce it routing. Please excuse. I'm neither American nor British, so I can say it however I like. Huh? <laughs> okay, so uh, there's a target address. And this is somehow select the interface where the packet packet needs to go. Okay. In former times, there were different type of, of routers available, yeah, multi-protocol routers. Today, it's just IP routers or mainly IP routers. All others are somehow uh, in the background. Yeah, These are no longer suitable, so I'm really talking right about IP now. IPX and SPX and so on. <sighs> yeah, I don't think it's appropriate for us to talk about this now that we are learning about this. We are talking about Internet Protocol routers here. IP is the usual layer 3 network uh, layer nowadays. Okay. So how it is selecting this interface where the packet needs to go? Well, uh, first thing yeah, is if a network is directly connected, uh, Send it there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The target address, ah, this network, I know this is already in my neighborhood. So if I'm bringing now a parcel to the postal service and sending it to my neighbor, yeah, it will not be sent to Vienna or I don't know, to somewhere. Yeah, it will be sent directly to the neighbor. Uh -huh. So directly connected networks, send it there. Uh -huh. Then there are static routes. They are administrated. Some administrator, somebody is really entering. If you do have information for this and that target address, send it there and only there. Huh? Administrated static routes, they are not, they are fixed. Yeah? They are usually fast. Yeah? However, it's not very scalable. Can you imagine that you enter every possible address in the internet a static route? You would not be you would not be able to finish this work until you're decent to wherever you want to go after life. Yeah? Static routes. Administrated fast but not very scalable. Three dynamic routes. These are learned automatically. Somehow, the, this device is called router, but a router, router, yeah. Router. You know this term probably from your internet router. Internet is router is, uh, connecting your internal network to the external network. Yeah? So we have a network change there. Yeah? Then they have additional features like network address translation and so on. Uh, 
maybe can produce virtual boards also. Yeah, so they not do not need to be a physical board. It may be also a, a virtual board, and you have virtual LAN and so on. These are details. Uh, these are details. Uh, so those things are called router and router router and and this is what they do. Yeah? And they learn automatically if a certain network is available at which port. I'll try it here. If it comes back, it's not working. Yeah? There are special protocols about this. These protocols are called routing protocol. This is the protocol routers are using to communicate to each other. Yeah? Maybe this router is asking this router, hey, where I have to put this package? Yeah, look, I have, a, I have a package. Uh, I don't know where to put this. Ah, where I, I know. Yeah? And this is some controlling. Control, con this is a protocol helping to find the correct path, route, through the networks. This is a routing protocol, okay? Maybe, you know, those routers, everybody has a so-called router table and it learns, okay, this network is there, this network is there, in this routing table there are a lot of entries and learns how to put things and so on and one thing for this uh, routing protocol might be uh, that one router is coping its routing table to the neighbor router. Huh? Tell me where I have to put this. Okay, I'll send you my routing table here. You have chuck, chuck, chuck. Huh? That's a routing protocol. In contrast, in contrast to this, there is a routed protocol. This is the user data. Okay? information to be transported and this is information how to transport okay the routed protocol is the using the user information, the, the information I want to give, give from here to there, yeah? and this is information, this is purely just for controlling the routing, yeah? where, to, where, how, how is the best path. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is the main functionality of layer 3 network layer. Yeah? We have to consider that Layer 3 is terminating layer 2 as well. Yeah? You cannot terminate layer 3 without terminating layer 2. So every layer 2 things like a broadcast yeah, is terminated at a router also. If I do a broadcast in this network, I do a broadcast in this network only. And well, this helps to keep the broadcast domain small so that I'm not here starting a broadcast flooding the whole internet. Yeah? just because I want to, to broadcast my this. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. There are routers or there are additional... Some things need to be broadcasted, even across router boundaries. Yeah. Then this router has to implement those things, these special broadcasts. Just to be mentioned. And then Last but not least, there's the default route. Uh, default route. This is if you don't know, hey, there is a parcel. I don't know where to put it. Default route. This is the least specific route ever. This is the least... It should be avoided. Huh? 
if nothing else helps, then there's the default route. Basically, this package is already lost. So usually it's not used. This is the main, the main task of layer three. This routing that, and now we have a parcel which can travel through network. Okay, so we know there is somebody else somewhere, somewhere, and this information finds its way through the network to the receiver, to the receiver, to the target. Huh? That's it. Maybe I should also mention that there is also policy, policy-based routing. What is this? Not only the layer three address is used, but also additional information. What does it mean? This means that maybe if you're sending a mail, it takes another route through the network than if you're watching uh, a web page. Uh, web page must be rather fast. Mail can be delayed. Uh, it's not that important. So maybe it's routed somewhere else. This is policy-based routing that you don't only look at the real uh, target address. You might also look at the source address where the origin of this package was and say, hey, all right, this is not that important. You may look into the protocol which is used, in the upper layer protocol which is used, say, okay, this is a mail, uh, I will send it here. Yeah. And this is, oh, this is a streaming, I will send it fast route. All right, so this is, this is helping a thing which is called congestion avoidance. This is also and quality of service. This is also a task of layer three that we have to prevent somehow a segment or a certain connection from overload that I have alternative routes and then I can use this policy based routing in selecting which things to send where. Yeah, and quality of service. Yeah, that you know, it has to reach the target in a certain time and so on. This is these are that that things. Yeah. Yeah, network layer three. I already said something about upper layer protocols. Now that we are sending information from one point to another point. Yeah, what else is there to do? Well, there are things. Yeah? It's not that we're sending a bit of information. We want to send a bigger chunk of information. Yeah? We'd want to send, I don't know, a whole, a whole movie. How this is done, this is somehow reflected in the upper layers. Next time we're talking about, after three comes four, layer four. Okay, next time we talk about layer 4 and yeah, for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye